Hi everyone, my name is Dave and welcome to Extra Credit, a video series where we take an unscripted look at topics related to local history and exploring that history. So as we normally do, just a quick reminder to visit my website, you're going to find a link in the description. There's all kinds of content on there related to the explorations we do and this video series. Uh, additionally, you're going to find a section dedicated to extra credit. Uh, and in there, you're going to find a list of all the episodes. So if you've missed one or if you want to go back and revisit something that you haven't maybe seen in a while, uh, you can do that. Additionally, you can uh, follow me on social media. So you'll find me on Facebook. You'll find me on Twitter and you'll find me on Instagram. Uh, and finally, if you haven't already done so, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. There's all kinds of content that drops regularly on this channel. And by subscribing and turning on the notifications, you will get the content much quicker than if you're waiting for it to show up on social media. All right. So um, we're back at home today, uh, so we're not in our usual location at camp. Um, we've already done one segment here at home, and the reason why I'm back here at home is because this uh, episode actually relates to something that is close to home. And um, it's actually something that I've had quite a bit of history with. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, I'm, in the I'm in the backyard here, and the sun keeps flipping in and out of the uh, in and out of the clouds. So I go from kind of uh, varying light conditions. At one minute I'm squinting, and then the other minute I can see the camera fine. Um, Anyway, so um, what we're going to be doing today is, uh, as you saw in the title, uh, today is uh, all about up the mountain. So where I live uh, here in Thunder Bay is very, very close to the Northwestern Mountains, which is a series of very, very old mountains. Uh, we are living in the Canadian Shield, which is one of the oldest rock formations uh, in the world, uh, dating back billions of years. And so these mountains have been worn down um, by billions of years of uh, erosion and uh, glacial action and things like that. Um, so there are a set of mountains just to the south of Thunder Bay that I live nearby. And uh, starting back quite a number of years, uh, I started going up the mountain and uh, it sort of became one of my sort of hiking routines. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to sort of take you up the mountain uh, and basically kind of show you sort of the geography and show you kind of what I would experience on the hikes. And like I said, I think the first time I went up the mountain was probably around 2007, uh, was in the summer. And then in the winter of 2008, I started kind of going up the mountain, bringing my GPS sort of um, locating and plotting things. And um, there's quite a network of trails that are up there. And I'm going to show you a little uh, clip as I'm talking here. And you can kind of see that, that spider web. It almost looks like of, of trails that are up the mountain. And then as my kids got older, I started bringing them up the mountain as well. And you're going to hear me sort of talking about that um, as, uh, as we work our way up and, uh, and talking a little bit about that. And um, again, so it was quite the experience. Uh, I filmed the episode uh, yesterday. It was a bright, beautiful day. And um, anyway, without, uh, without any further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to get into the episode and I'll be talking about a few things. Uh, and then uh, uh, obviously, uh, once the episode is over, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the debrief. All right, so here we go on our adventure. Um, we're just heading down the road here towards the mountain over there, probably getting a big screen full of glare as we head to the south. Um, we'll see how uh, the outfit goes. You can see I have my toque on and my buff and got my mitts, but I don't even have them on. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day. It's uh, about a degree and a half below zero. And I'm sure I'll get warm as I'll go up the, the mountain, have my boots on and my gaiters. You'll probably hear my phone going off periodically. I have the uh, tracker going on telling me every kilometer. All right, so I'm gonna flip the, uh, the camera onto my head and uh, we'll go from there. We also have the Luna cam activated. She hates it. Do apologize, probably getting a lot of glare right now. Looking into the sun. Luna's shaking like crazy. She does like being free. 
have her leash inside the bag in case we run into some people. So as I mentioned in the intro, um, I have not been up the mountain in a couple of years actually. I didn't go at all last year. Between the snow and the cold, never made it up. This used to be, uh, as I said, this used to be a, a weekend routine with myself and the boys when they were younger. I used to pull out the, the sled or the toboggan, as we call it here, and head up the mountain every Sunday. You can see there's somebody parked here. Somebody's either going up the mountain. Lots of people like to ice climb. All right, here we go. We'll see how the trail is. We got a little dusting of snow the other day. But uh, it was really warm last weekend, like ridiculously um, above normal, like five, six, seven degrees Celsius, which is not usual. Maybe a little bit of climate change at play there. So the trail here basically heads toward the mountain. And then, so this is Mount, again, this is Mount McRae. So this is one of the chain of the Nor'Western Mountains. So Mount McKay, which is the biggest one, is just over there, which is quite visible in the city of Thunder Bay. So this is Mount McRae. And we're gonna come towards the mountain and then we're gonna run alongside of it till we curve around the side. And then we're going to head up. So let's, uh, I almost forgot to do this. Let's check our elevation here. So, I don't know if you can see that. It says we're at 220 meters above sea level. And so, the reason why we're checking that is when we get up, we'll see the elevation change. There's a considerable elevation change. Luna, come here. Loon. 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 Fix the Luna cam here. All right, I gotta start stripping off layers here. There goes the, the neck buff. Here you can see we had a massive landslide that came down the side of the mountain. So the trail is right over there. We have to do this little deviation. And if I come over here, you can see it a little bit better. So this whole section just came down. You can see the massive amount of material that came and blocked the trail. So the trail had to be deviated. This was a few years ago, maybe three years ago or so, four, I don't know. I don't remember, but it was recently. Okay, here we go. And we're gonna start our ascent here. Um, what's interesting is when I, when the kids were younger, I used to go up that way because, uh, the, tr the climb isn't as steep, but suddenly somebody has put signs up, no trespassing. I don't know if their property actually extends this far up because I believe this is uh, Fort William first nation territory. So maybe they're just posturing a little bit. Somebody cut a trail over there because this part is really steep here. Probably getting a lot of glare. I'll try to look down. Oh, wish I had my gloves on. Last week it was all, I it melted. So it's all ice underneath. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna keep climbing here. And I'm gonna start huffing and puffing. Cause I walk all the time, but this is a little different beast here. My legs are burning a little bit too.
You know what I didn't bring with me? Anything to drink. So busy thinking about the camera equipment and everything. Didn't bring any hydration. Sometimes uh, you forget in the winter that you need to drink as well. Her battery's still good. Okay, there's a split in the trail here. These eventually come back together. We're gonna take the right fork. Um, on the way back, we're gonna take the left fork. So somebody's put a sign up, Fever Road, which is where we came in, and, and Coppin Road, which is the other uh, area where it comes off, and that's where most people come onto the trail. So this one's a bit more gradual, this side. The other one's steeper. That one I'm talking about. Oh, my hamstrings are a little tight. Maybe I went a little hard today on leg day. Starting to see a little bit of the view here and the elevation. That big ridge there is uh, off of a place called Riverdale Road. So you're already starting to get a good view. There's a creek that comes down the mountain. You actually see there's standing water. This is partly from last week when it was so warm. So up here is the trunk that comes down from, uh, or comes up or goes down to Coppin Road. Again, I apologize if you're getting a lot of glare. That's where we're going up there. If you actually see there's a little bit of a bald spot in the trees there, that's where we're heading up. That's the Lost Mountain Lookout. So we have a, a lot of climbing to do. Here we go with the climbing again. Luna's got energy. And it's all icy underneath. Let's see if this helps. So yeah, so all the snow underneath is all compacted and was melted. And then, um, come here, Luna. Then we got that snow the other day, just a few centimeters, but now you got a coating of snow on top. So there's that other fork. There's that other trail. And we'll take that on the way back. Try to keep my head down here. So you, I think that's what they call Lost Mountain. When they say Lost Mountain Lookout. Because you can see that mountain. I don't think it has a name. Or maybe it does. I don't know. I'll look at a map. Again, just a gorgeous day. Let's see what they... Let's see what they say. This is minus four. Feels like minus 10. I don't know. All right, so we're coming up to a fork here and we're gonna pause. I'm gonna change the battery in Noah. In Noah. Wrong child. We have the fur baby. Change the battery in Luna's. A GoPro and I'll check the battery in mine okay here we go so uh, again there's a fork in the trail this goes up eventually these two come back together again at uh, higher up um, we will come back on this other fork you'll notice the snowmobilers I'll take that fork this one is strictly foot traffic simply because uh, 
it's too difficult to navigate on a snowmobile. Okay, so we're 310 meters. Let's see um, where we are at. So 310, we'll see when we have to turn off to go to Lost Mountain. It'll start to get steep here real quick. We're really starting to sweat here. So this trail is tricky because, especially in the springtime when there's runoff, basically there's a creek that runs down here. So literally we're walking pretty much up a, a creek bed. I think it kind of runs there at times too. So we're kind of in and out of this creek bed. Along the way, you'll see that there's some of these big boulders. I don't know if they roll down or if they're glacial erratics. Boulders that were dropped when the glaciers melted after the last ice age. Come on, Lynn. This is the part where it gets really steep. As you can tell by my huffing puffy. Come on. Let's go, come on. I hate when she stops in front of me. one of the steep sections here. Now imagine me pulling, see the view? Imagine me pulling two kids up on a toboggan. I was a little younger back then. Had a little bit more energy. Whew. So here is the creek bed, the big part of it. So we actually go right through the creek bed here. Come on. There was a big rainstorm about 11 years ago. Really did a big number washing out this part of the creek bed. There is kind of a bit of a trail that runs up right there. But as you can see, nobody's used it. Apparently. Whew. This is the really steep part here. Come on. Whew. Oh, yeah. How does this thing keep tilting that one direction? Well, that's why. Blew a strap. Okay, here we go. Fresh battery in the GPS. I'm oh, sorry, in the GPS, in the camera. What are we looking like here? 380. So we came up 70 meters. And in total, we've done 160 meters since we started. Now we're gonna climb some more because we gotta get up that ridge there. Again, you can see how much water is underneath, all the melt that we had last week. It's mild the next few days, but it's supposed to cool down midweek again. Um, it's supposed to be like highs in the teens. So minus 11, minus 15, we'll see what comes. But we're already starting to hit the end of February, so 
the end is nigh with regard to the uh, come on with regard to winter a month from now it'll be it'll be spring that doesn't mean anything around here but at least it'll be on paper Here's some snowmobiles running. Come on. You can see how much melt we had. You see trees sticking out. Here's a view. Looking this way. The dog's having fun. The snow's all melted here from the sun. Oh, for Christ's sake. I forgot how high this was. Again, quite the panorama. Whew. My hamstrings are burning and my quads. Oh, thank Jesus, we're at the top. Oh, I'm really missing that water bottle right now. So there is a a snowmobile trail that comes up, but it takes the long way. As I catch my breath here, this hooks back in with that lower down on this trail, and this one hooks up with the snowmobile trail at the top. Again, you can see the panorama here. We still have a little ways to go here. How are we doing here? Four hundred and thirty. So we just came up another fifty meters, and we've done two hundred and ten since we started. So that's like almost six hundred and fifty feet. All right. So again. I mean, it's exhausting and I'm gassed, but hey, I'll wait till we get to the lookout. All right, so we've reached the lookout here. Um, it's known as the Lost Mountain Lookout. I believe that's what they're pointing at, which is Lost Mountain there. I don't know if you can see my phone here. So we're 440 meters up, so we've climbed 220 meters, which is quite the climb. Um, you can see the panorama here. Maybe get a little shot of me in here. And there's Luna. We took our harness off because she doesn't like it, but I've got her tied to the tree because I don't trust her. Got a nice uh, frosty beard. Um, so features that you can see here uh, over there is um, um, what used to be Big Thunder. Um, just around the corner here, you can't kind of see it, see it is um, one of the local ski hills, uh, which is Loch Lomond. Um, yeah, that's Big Thunder over there, and Loch Lomond is kind of just out of, kind of out of sight here. Or is that Big Loch Lomond there? Okay, whatever. Um, you can see the highway stretching across there. 
Um, again, you can just see the panorama. You can see, um, again, the chain of Norwester Mountains here. And you can see some of the sort of outlying hills here. Just a, uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous view. We come down here. I don't like going close to the edge. Uh, you can see um, um, one of the local hotels, which is a Best Western um, Tournament Center. Again, just a, an amazing view up here. So the trail does continue. Um, it does loop around. It goes to the front side of Mount McRae. So we're on the we're on the side here, um, and uh, I don't know quite which direction we're facing. Yeah, we're facing almost due west here, um, and uh, so the trail does loop around and uh, goes to the front side, to the north facing side of the mountain. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to shut off. We're going to go back down the way we came and then we're going to climb a little bit more and then we're going to come back down the mountain a different way. So you're going to kind of see a different sort of, uh, sort of view and different perspective. All right, so we're back here at the main trail. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little different route home. Um, you can see we've worked our way back down. We were at 400 and, what do we say, 440 meters. Now we're back to 380 meters. And so we're gonna head up this trail, which is gonna take us to a different spot. You can see nobody's, I don't think really anybody's been on here since we got that bit of snow. But it is packed, which is good. Come on then. let's go. All right, so here you link up with the main trunk trail again. So it goes up, splits in a whole bunch of different directions. There's a branch that comes down here. There's actually a branch that goes down to Sawbill Lake. And this part goes up and eventually it's the one that comes back out by the lookout and then it does continue on that way too but there is a spot where you can look over Loch Lomond which uh, is a lake over here it was the uh, municipal drink water supply for the city of Thunder Bay for many many years so we just climbed what 50 meters is that right where were we three no 380 yeah, 380. So, 10 meters. Sorry. It's hard to keep track of everything here. So, we've been going for an hour and 20 minutes. And we've done 4K. Luna's going to have a good nap after. I'm sure she'll be tired. As will I. Alright, here's the main artery again uh, has people gone by on it yeah so here we're gonna hang a right and go back towards the way we came uh, Scoldale lookout I've never seen that's a new sign so that if you keep following this you go all the way in and, and it's pretty long it's about a 10 kilometer round trip from my house anyway and it brings you out right and you look over Loch Lomond and maybe we'll do that Maybe we'll do that next winter. Because <laughs> it's a much longer hike. Alright, so we're approaching the, uh, the big downhill here. So this is why when I took the kids, we would come up that way. And then we would come down this way. Because going back down that way is such a narrow little pathway. It's not easy especially if you encounter people and generally people don't walk up this one they go up that way um, simply because this is the route that the snowmobiles often take and because uh, it's a little bit wider and maybe not as steep, as steep in parts so what I would do is here I would flip 
the uh, I'd been dragging the snow, the uh, sled, the toboggan, and I'd flip the thing around, and I'd have it hooked to me, and I'd let the sled go ahead of me, and I would ru literally run behind it, and. I can't imagine how I did that now because it must have been brutal trying to control the toboggan with my body, right, and go down this hill. So we'll we'll try to simulate this. I can see if I can do this now. So it's basically like a controlled member. And now you got this this the toboggan that's pulling me down the hill, right? And you can imagine we didn't check. I should have checked how high we were. We're probably still in that wherever we were, 380 range. We'll see where we are when we get to the bottom here. You can see the view up here. It's a little chillier. So this is another main trunk here. That one goes up that way and the trail kind of goes more that way. And then there's a branch that comes around here and you kind of avoid that big hill that we just came down. Where are we now? 330. So if we were at 380, we came down 50 meters. So we came down like 170 feet or so. You can see kind of our you can see kind of our route here. So we came up, we went over here, we came back, we went this way. Now we're coming back around. Can I change the map? I never tried changing the map on here. Oh, whatever. Let's, uh, here you can see our elevation. Okay, let's keep going down. We got a little bit more downhill to go here. And it joins up with the creek that comes down that way. And so here is the junction between the trails. So this is where we went up. So where are we here? Man, I'm huffing and puffing. 310. Was that where we were before? I think so. So anyway. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head our way back down and uh, so you can see how we made that loop right here up there came back around now we're looped back up with the trail and uh, we are going to head our way down I'm going to shut the camera off because um, we've been through here and I'll turn it back on once we uh, once we get back to the, the main street okay so we've arrived back home uh, you can see the uh, the length of our hike here so we hiked uh, just under 7.3 kilometers took us just over two hours um, <laughs> quite a number of steps um, you can see our elevation gain uh, so in total we gained 210 meters so in total uh, our total ups were 210 meters uh, you can see our route here uh, so again you can see um, how we came up right so from the top of the screen we came up uh, we took uh, the western branch and then the eastern branch went up the um, to lookout uh, to lost mountain lookout and then we came back around then we took the eastern branch um, and then made our way back down so all in all a uh, a nice little hike Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed uh, the exploration up the mountain. Obviously what you saw was kind of an abbreviated version. There is a full version. And so in the link in the description, you're going to find two things. So first of all, you're going to find the full um, hiking episode. Uh, so everything that I recorded yesterday when I went up the mountain. And the second thing that you're going to find is you're going to find the Luna cam footage. And so Luna does have her own video series. And so we recorded part of the episode. And so you'll be able to check out things from kind of her perspective as well. Um, 
so as I mentioned in the video that maybe we'll we'll come back and we'll do another episode next year and we'll kind of explore another one of the trails that are up there uh, but in the meantime I want to thank everybody for tuning in uh, we'll be back uh, next month with a, yet another episode a very special episode um, kind of like a little bit like this one but uh, even uh, even a little more unusual uh, and in any case uh, thanks for tuning in everyone and stay safe